10.50. Hey y'all, Artist Poet Girl here and today we're going to make those tassels that I talked about in the last video, uh, Journal Love. Let's make them. Link in the i-card above, upper right hand corner and in the description box below along with a list of ingredients. So I'm using embroidery floss and I bought a big package of uh, different colors from um, Michael's with a coupon. So I'm taking it and I'm kind of meeting my ends up. I'm not being real precise here because you can trim them up later if you want uh, a straight line or you can leave them all mismatched. Now you can also wrap this around a piece of cardboard uh, depending on how precise you want to be. I'm using uh, four fingers and kind of in a loose manner because I want longer tassels this time as opposed to the ones I actually put on the journals. That is uh, some uh, crochet cotton thread and that's what I uh, sewed the uh, did the pamphlet stitch with on those love journals and um, tying that around the top there to hold the uh, pieces together. Now I cut another piece and I'm going to wrap it around to um, gosh I guess I should have thought about what these different things are called. Maybe should have googled them and looked them up. But anyway I'm going to wrap it or tie it in a knot, a double knot. And I'm going to wrap it around to uh, make like a pretty little sort of finished um, wobbly <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Wrap it around. And um, this you can uh, also, that open end there, you can slip straight over a bobby pin. Oh, let's trim that, the little loop. Because, you know, when you roll it up like that, you end up with the loop. And I'm going to run my fingers through there looking for more loops. Uh, I don't remember if I found any or not. But anyway. So you got that end you can tie and you can put your bobby pin through there which is what I used on those journals, little bobby pins. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tie that around there because that's what I did for the journals. I'm going to show you some uh, more or less variations. Same basic thing of wrapping the uh, threads around uh, the four fingers there or you can use cardboard like I said. That's Champ walking around. He just makes a lot of ticky-tacky noises with his long toenails. Oh, now he wants outside. Pause. Well, y'all didn't actually have to pause. <laughs> so anyway, I'm looping around just showing the other ones I, I made for the journals. Uh, and they, like I said, they are shorter tassels. So, but you, And you can make them as long as you want or as short as you want. And uh, put them on a bobby pin or not put them on a bobby pin. I'm going to show you an option. Mini. Or two. These, um, I found these, um, what are they called? Bell shaped um, bead caps. And I'm going to uh, run my string through there. End up goofing around with the needle and just sewing it and. Does that needle fit? Nope, that one won't fit. So get the other one. I got one of my threads through there and then I tried to get the other one on the needle and unthreaded the, the bead cap and yada, yada, yada. And uh, so yeah, <laughs> end up getting both of them through there eventually. Do I speed that up any? I don't know. This, this video is just under 19 minutes. And I piddled with these uh, tassels for a while. Like I said in the journal video, I did, that was a process over uh, probably a good week or two. Not, I didn't work on it constantly because I was doing other things. But um, any hoodles. I got the covers and the signatures. You know, I, I copied dyed the papers. I didn't show that. Didn't show y'all making the tassels in that one. Now I tried to get a thread or that just broke that all to heck. Mm. <sighs> I'm having a terrible time. This this particular needle has a smaller eye than what I'm comfortable with. 
See, I got that one on there. Now I'm going to try to thread the other one, and I pull my little bell cap. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. Oh, goodness. Goodness, goodness. So, any hoots. Spent a lot of time on that. I probably could cut all that out. Y'all didn't need to see all that. So, I'm tying a knot there to hopefully keep that from uh, going back through the bead cap. Now, I'm going to put some E6000 on here. I used a little too much. It probably didn't just, you know, you just want enough to make it stick inside the bead cap and not pull it loose. Oh, sometimes that E6000 just keeps pouring out. So I'm going to roll that in there. I'm going to push it down on there and turn it at the same time to smear the glue around. I'm not sure if you can see that. And I wiped it off with my bare finger, which you're not supposed to do with E6000. You're not supposed to get it on your skin, and you're not supposed to be using it when you're eating or drinking. And by drinking, I don't necessarily mean liquor. It could be tea or water or milk or whatever makes you happy. Don't eat or drink with it. I, I wash my hands right away, too. So now I'm going to make another one using different colors. Because I'm going to show you a different, um, it's not a bead cap. It's a thing you put in your hair. Like when you're uh, doing the little tiny braids in your hair. And uh, I got it from this package from King Dollar. It's like a, a dollar store, but I think it's actually like King Dollar 25 or something like that. So they had them and I saw them and I thought, you know, that might would work for tassels. That was my thought as soon as I saw them. So I grabbed up a package of them. Probably should have got more than one package. I mean, it was only a dollar twenty-five, I guess. Um, Cause it may never have them again. It's in this whole other city too. So anyway, they're aluminum and they open really easily. So I just kind of opened it up. I'm not sure if you could see that. Now I'm sliding the tassel in there. I'm trying to get all my little fibers in there. And I did put the E6000 on there and I'm squishing it down. Getting the glue off my hands that I immediately washed. Trimming up the uh, loose fibers from the eyelash trim. Making sure I still have my string there to hang my tassel on. Now I'm going to trim up the end so that it would be all nice and even and pretty-ish. But you don't have to do that. That's just something I like to do. Now with this eyelash trim, oh, and I'm cutting the loops off on that one. This eyelash trim, man, that stuff just gets everywhere when you trim it up. Just hanging. And I'm going to show uh, a photo montage in a little bit of um, more or less the close-ups of the different hangy do hickeys I got going on there. So, because I end up using, uh, trying to show you how you put a, lo a lobster claw on there, if you want. And see, so you can just put it on your bobby pin that way and hang it loose like that. Or make it shorter or longer, however you, not, you can, once you make it long, you can't make it on there. Yeah. Anyway, you can also use uh, lobster, lobster, <laughs> lobster claws. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm digging around in my little thing looking for a jump ring. Couldn't find a jump ring. Found a little piece of chain. I'm going to take the jump ring off of that. Good gracious. Did I mention I had a headache when I was filming this tassel part? I did. I had, had a pretty, pretty bad headache that morning. So anyway, jump ring. Lobster claw or lobster, depending on how you want to get closure. I'm gonna try to put it through that hole. It doesn't really fit through that hole. Find something else now. So you can also tie these onto tags or anything else for that matter. Just tie it on there and ta-da! There you go. You can put an eyelet in your uh, side of your journal and hook it all in there. Now this is a hair clippy thing. I found as I was straightening up my different uh, jewelry beads and stuff like that, because y'all know I do all kinds of junk. Anyway, so I'm just tying that on there because you can just do that. See? So here comes a little close up of the different things. That's just, um, I don't know what that one is. Tie it onto the tag. That's a bobby pin one. Not real crazy about the bobby pin ones. And, uh,. This is the one with the lobster claw. 
lobster claw. See? I made a special hole to put that through. And you see the little different caps on there, too. Um, which one is this? That's the one on the hair clippy doohickey. I don't know what I was doing with those, but they're in my jewelry stuff, so they mine. <laughs> oh, now we're going to make some tags. Let's make the tags for those journals. And a uh, list of ingredients in the description box below. Just a uh, script. I think that's a French script stamping all the tags. And I had these napkins, and I thought, well, let's just use them napkins. So. I put matte medium on the tag. Oh, I did heat set the ink, but I probably didn't show you. Probably. I'm just kind of smearing it out. I'm going to put a layer of the matte medium on top. Once it gets good and dry, I trim it out. Didn't show you that part. Didn't figure you might need to see that again. I don't know. Maybe you do. I'll probably trim it again in a little bit. So I've got these hearts because this is journal love. So I want a little heart going on. The tags. Oh, we're going to repunch that hole because we covered it up with the uh, napkin. That's just a regular size hole punch, which is just slightly smaller than the tag hole, but that's okay. Nobody's going to notice because I said you're not going to notice. And I'm using some hearts and red ink and just stamping Hagen around. And now we're going to make some uh, Julie, Nutting, Julie Nutting dolls. I got these in a stamp set from Michaels with coupon and they're in the planner section and this particular set was called craft day totally adorable I mean look it's got little I don't do planner stuff but I loved all the little words and I love the little dolls I love this size over the larger dolls just saying okay and it came with two different dolls or you know doll stamps and so I'm just making a whole bunch because I'm going to uh, mostly assembly line the tag making process here. So I'm just stamping them all out and then I get out my little prism pencils and I'm going to color them up and color them up. I don't show you a whole a lot of coloring because that gets a little oldish. And just coloring with the pencils and coloring with the pencils. And Evidently, I'm still coloring with the pencils. <laughs> oh, I'm using some of these. I used uh, two different colors on the dresses. And man, that looks cool. It looks cool. And um, what else? Hmm. That's pretty. That's pretty. That's pretty much coloring them up. Put a little blush on their cheek. Then we can cut them out. I'll show you how I'm cutting it out. Even though you don't need lessons on cutting it anyway. This is sped up. I don't really cut this fast because huh, I'd be cutting her head just lopping that thing right off there. And I'm not being real precise because these are smallish and I don't think you have to be real precise. Now there's a dried up tag over there. It's all dry. You want to make sure all your layers are dry. And I'm putting, oh God, open that hole again. Putting um, Aileen's Turbo Tacky on the back of the little nutting doll stamps cut out doll gonna glute her on to that there tag gluting her on getting a charcoal pencil now you can use black uh, you, you can shade with any anything you have a black ink pen a watercolor pencil a stabilo all I just wanted to use the uh, the charcoal because I wanted to smear it out like that and I'm going around just the other side just the tiniest bit and uh, then I thought well you know it needs a sentiment so I got out this here, I think this is Cosmo Cricket list of ingredients in the description box below, people. And these are, I've got out all my little texty doohickeys, but this is the only set I end up using on all of the tags. So I made one for each journal. And it wouldn't fit uh, widthwise, or maybe, it, I don't know. So I just glued it on there that way. Going to outline that with a little charcoal as well. And we'll smear it around with the little paper stump. 
this is the kind of paper stump that you can sand to uh, clean off the end and repoint it, you know, point it out. And I thought, well, let's put some gems on there. And I love these gems. I also got these at the King Dollar 25. I love them. They're not like a gem gem. They're call, actually called art stones or craft stones. I don't know. Description box, okay? And uh, anyway, I just think they're wonderful. Got a little fancy cut thing on there. I don't know. Maybe we can see a close up at the end in the photo montage. Just keep waiting for Chant to be scratch on the door, come back in. He's usually not out there this long. Mm hmm. Anyway. Got that all on there. See, I said his name. He's walking up to the door now. I'm going around the outside with red ink in this particular case. And I use different colors of ink to ink around the edges of all the different tags. They're the same but different tags, okay? So, uh, oh, there, I'm going to show you some more of the napkin. Got them all dried. I assembly lined them. Did all the napkins, did all the stamping on the background, did all the napkins, uh, made sure they was dry, cut, trimmed them off, doing all the hearts. He can, y'all. He can, he can, he can, he can, he can. He can. <laughs> now we're going to glue the dolls on. I probably don't show you all the dolls. So. And uh, doing all that, assembly lining it, because I'm going to, uh, these will be for purchase at my local art gallery during the holiday season, which will be November, December ish. And now I'm going to make uh, just a little, you know, how you put the fibers on the tag up there. That's what I'm doing there. Eyelash. I like that stuff. Man, them little eyelashes just get everywhere. And I don't trim these off to make shorter. They are just whatever size they came out to be. That's the size they are. And I do that for all the tags. Just show you how many did I show you. Two, three, four, dozen. <laughs> I guess that was it. Now I'm just putting them in the journals. And I don't really show you the journals because uh, you can more or less see the papers in the, uh, the video eye card in the upper right hand corner. And uh, that's what I'm doing. And still doing. We're getting ready for a photo montage. It's not an individual tag photo montage. It's group montage. And it makes me happy. I think they're just stinking adorable. Totes adorable, even. Just adorable. Loves them, loves them, loves them. Look wonderful in those journals. Disclaimer screen. <laughs> Thanks for watching and happy arting y'all.